Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today I'm going to talk about Fancybox and how you can track interaction within it. So Fancybox is a tool in order to display images, uh, videos and even more on a different website or things like this. Uh, it's released under GPLv3 license. That's the main reason why I decided to make a video about it today. So here I have an example of what Fancybox is. This is a photo gallery on which you can click on and uh, you can view the different pictures and the main issue is uh, how can we track that out with Matomo Analytics so there are many different ways that you can do it you can use the content tracking you can create virtual page views if the fragment cannot be collected or you can even use uh, events and this is what I'm going to do uh, today so uh, the magic happen like this is when you click on it what you would like to do is actually to grab uh, the information that this given a uh, photo gallery and if you look uh, down the page uh, over here, you will see that uh, you have the caption of the page, which is included within each of those images, right? The one that you can see up here. And by default, so it seems that Matomo cannot uh, grab it. So uh, the idea is actually how we can push that out to Matomo Analytics. So. Uh, first of all, I really would like to thank uh, the uh, Matomo contributor who sent me this as a use case. So once more, do not hesitate to uh, add some comments or to get in contact with the Floss Marketing School in order for us to write some use case about it. So um, this is how I did it. I created a tag which is called Interacted with Pictures of the Gallery. It's a Matomo event tag. Okay, so that's why I set up here an event. Uh, I put it a name, uh, art coded, which is fancy box. I added an action, which means that this is when the picture will be viewed that I want to push an event to Matomo Analytics. And I wanted to put as an event name, the class value of the given element, which correspond to the caption. Okay, so that's why I decided to create this variable. So this variable is probably one of uh, the tiny things which are a little bit technical. So you need to go over here, you need here to click on create a new variable. And once you create, uh, your new variable, you need to choose a DOM element type, then you need to give, of course, an explicit name to it, and then use the CSS selector in order to grab the class of the given caption. Okay, so this is what I did over here. I just went on uh, Firebug and I just looked at this given uh, caption, and then once here, I just do a right click, and then I click on Copy CSS selector, and once I copy it, I got the value that I just passed it over here. So now, once the variable is defined, you just need to go over here within the tag and define actually the name of the event as this given uh, variable. And then I decided to create a trigger, which is an history change, because every time, as you can see, that a picture is called, the name within the URL here is changing. Okay, so that's what I'm pushing here. I decided to activate this trigger only when there is an history change plus only when it's happening on a web page which contains tests. So those two conditions need to be fulfilled in order to be able to send the data to Matomo. So here I'm going to go back within a preview mode in order to show you how you can troubleshoot that because sometimes it's more difficult than it seems. So uh, we go over here, we go back within the preview mode. So in my case, that was like this, okay. And um, yeah, as you can see, so, so far only the page view, which is this one, has been pushed. That's normal because the page has been viewed, but here, whatever picture I'm gonna select. So I'm gonna go take this one. Here, as you can see, the URL is gonna change. So as a result, there's an history change. And because there's an history change, the event that I defined have been changed. And every picture that we're gonna look at, we're gonna have his own uh, URL. So of course, you have a second history change, which is loaded and so on and so forth. Here, if you leave the page, then uh, there, there's no problem at all. And, oh, actually, maybe there's one, is it? Oh, I'm gonna look if this one is firing actually um, a non-needed event. And if I look at the visit logs, I will see that I get, in fact, all my different pictures which have been uh, viewed. Okay, you see? So that's, that's great because that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to push the information of fancy box picture view plus the caption of of the element. And that's it uh, for the video of today, which was about how you can know that someone is looking at one of your picture or gallery made with fancy box. 
and how you can push that out to map to more analytics. Once more, thanks for watching. As an exercise, what you could do is uh, instead of sending an event, try to measure the number of impression and the number of clicks registered on each of those elements. Once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to create your own use case and publish them on social networks.